A very pleasant morning to all the believers. Once again, I welcome each and every one of you to Christ to Glory Church Sunday service. As I begin, let me say a word of prayer. Father, we come before you just as we are. We give you glory. We give you honor for this blessed life that you've given to each and every one of us, Lord. As we come together with one spirit, with one accord, to enrich our spiritual life through your word of God. May your divine presence continue to abide each and every one of us, Lord Jesus. We commit this time and the rest of the hour into your mighty hands. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Before I begin my sermon, I would like to share a testimony. We need your love about the testimony so many can share with you. Just a few months back, I lost my dad. My Baba, he was terminally ill. Tay bimar da kasamay de. The short period of his illness, he was preparing, not just in physical, not just in relationship, but he was preparing in spirit. Tay bimar samay de. Mui tay gi Bible puray di bo. I will try to explain, and I will try to explain about the love of Jesus. Because my dad was from a broken family. Our isor laga morom na jani gina utia laga ekta baba takishe. And so taking the, that opportunity, my baba ki isor laga kuta vachan gan kwe gina. Isor ki luga do kini ga ashish ase idula share kure takishe. And that period of time, that prepare kura samai dem. He confessed his weaknesses, his sins, and he tried to reconcile with all the family members, with all the friends. Kung gan lo relationship biya hoy ginase. Oto samay de. One day, tay muri wali samay bungcha samay de. Baba bara muri gi mati gina. He requested me to say a word of prayer for him. Aro udo wala prata na do kia siyo gusto ko lido. Taygi mangsudi itia do atma di bi ito dunia wala release kri di bi ay ko na pray kri tagi she. Why? Because I being a very stubborn person, I was praying and fasting for my father's life, and he knew that very well. Mangsudi di he was already given up, and so he was requesting me to say a word of prayer for him. So that God will release him. Oh, the Samaydi! I realized my dad was already prepared in spirit. He received Jesus as his personal savior. And one interesting thing was, that Atma did prepare who he got the khabar. After his death, even for his funeral service. So arrange kuri na taki she. How to go about his funeral service? Who are those people who will share? Kung kan ba is kuta kubo ito kung so pi share kuri na taki she. I being the youngest in my family, I didn't knew that I will be given the privilege, the honor, to speak. Babala funeral day. He called me. Amuhi kui tagi she. Apni eva muhi gani testify kui di bade mula funeral service de ida kui tagi she. When one is prepared, key situations, key samai hui libe puin na kai jai. So, taking my father's testimony, aji ami kan gi muhi share kubo monja do. Whether one is Suffering with a terminal illness or such as the present pandemic crisis, the ultimate truth is the ultimate truth is how. Prepared. 
prepared are we? Ati apne moi kiman prepared hoy ginase? And to what extent are we ready today? If we are to surrender before that one day. When we read Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 7, it says that our body which is made up of dust will return back to the earth. But the spirit which belongs to God will return back to God. And how are we going to return back that spirit to God? That he is infused in us to live. Kinika is sorki amikan laka atmado. Present cruelly parable after we leave this world. As a Christian, as a follower of Christ, how strong, unshakable, and prepared is our faith in God in the midst of all this chaosness, fear, and uncertainty. Today, the pandemic is the fight which all of humanity are encompassed. So manu involved us in. And Kidam and Paul were say she believed that the receiving end to individual do I say. Apni moi do I say. And it is an individual fight. Just as our fate with God is between you and God itself. This pandemic is also a fight between the COVID-19 and you yourself. Because this COVID does not know any status. Kinigalaga status as the Nasai. It does not differentiate whether you are a rich person or a poor person. Nasai. And it doesn't know the word ism. Language parry kunai. Neither does it know whether one is a reverend, a mullah. A pujari or a monk no one is safe from this COVID-19 virus nobody is safe overall it is also it only I highlighted highlight and it shows the unpreparedness of the government of the medical system our church that is you and I a total collapse of the system. So, the failure And so, the word of God says in John chapter ten, verse ten, the thief does not come except to steal and to kill, but to destroy. Likewise, this COVID nineteen has not just come to steal or to kill us, but to destroy us completely. To uproot us. Roots pra ulai di wale. To finish us up. To wipe out humanity at large and at all cost. To wipe all humanity. When we look back till the beginning of the year 2020, we all have been living a very carefree life. Going wherever we want to go, traveling with people, laughing, hanging out with people, hugging people, shaking hands with people without any fear or restrictions, and also making plans for tomorrow and for the future ahead. But today, social distancing with loads of restrictions. It is not just brought distancing between humanity and physical, but even emotionally. Today we all have been distanced. Forget about planning for the day. As each day or each new day unfolds, we hear news of dying of a neighbor, a known person, a relatives or a family members. It's like the doomsday or the things which is written in the Bible about the day of rapture has begun. Just few weeks back, 
just few days back tan ke log pai she we have talked with them kuch hi ba log pai she and today they are gone forever even i have lost some of my friends we me mula close friends kun bahari she muri she co workers non person and the same thing apni bhi go through kuri gina thaki bo who knows you might have lost your own parents your family members in other words each one of us are victim so many we ekta victim as they nobody is safe nobody can claim that i am saved every one of us are victim of this pandemic as the scripture says in genesis chapter 1 verse 28 when god created men we he not only created but gave the dominion power and to subdue the world to have dominion to have authority to look after the whole world and it turned out exactly we dominate the world nothing is impossible in the hands of men today and men become the sole authority and also bears responsibility for both the good and the evil how be a so blaga di responsibility to aji mogan bra loya se likewise unfortunately aji apne moi la e responsibility is so bar ki responsibility di she how bar lo boli na phara bra all humanity stands in all defeated and dejected before this covid virus we all are dejected was shredded the day when one is tested positive or if we go through complications one has to be admitted to the hospital for intensive care and for oxygen kitai oxygen laga do sai shugli do for so many years we have been breathing this year freely today we have to invest money people are rushing around to buy oxygen ito in the situation this taka samay dim hospital is chai klado no hoy for some people it is the day one has to say farewell to the loved ones because nobody is going to accompany us to nurse us to take care of us in the hospital mugani job ra sabuli nimide hospital di jawli lagi jay even when one dies none of the family members could even say a proper farewell muria manu loved ones even for the family members even to the friends also we are not able to say a proper farewell no perform the bereaved fa- uh, rightful decent burial because even the family members so many be quarantine hopefully like it jai we can't even mourn properly mourn be properly na pare lost ho laga do we are living in that kind of condition today kitai ami gan sai na jabo it is for sure that one day you and i we all are going to die We all are destined to die one day. We all are just passer by. Ek dena hai gina, all of samay ta ki gina. Ja bolya se, we are going to die. Our stay on this earth is temporary. But today thing of this pandemic is one of the heartbreaking, heart-wrenching really realities we all are facing today. Our sobsi regret who boli ektado one of the most regrettable thing is that our elders our own brothers and sisters are dying without jesus in their life because we were not prepared 
It helps us to understand verse 1 the bishop power I repeat Psalms 46 verse 1 That the power quickness say is so do amikala refuge and strength and every present help in trouble quickness say Kiss my the key situation stay God is always there with us He will always uphold us He will always strengthen us always lead us and it also teach us to put faith in God that very passage teaches us to put faith in God and to take charge of every situation that comes upon us and today is the right time 
to take charge of your life. In the name of Jesus, having faith in Him, key situations, key samai aishu gilibi, ami kan bad control cruelly parvo. We will take charge of it because faith enables us to put our focus on God. Ami kan la focus to kida is sor kida kibo. We won't be distracted. We won't be taken aback. We will always be in the right track. Rather than on the pandemic. Pandemic ki focus no kuribo. The brokenness that your family are going through. The failures. The financial crisis that you are going through. Udu ki focus no kurigina. Is sor ki focus kurigina. Is sor ki biswas kurigina. Let's try to take charge of our life. Kidiamikan Psalms 46 verse 10 di jabo. That the Kwegina say it says that we need to lead faith. Biswaske upper hand cruelly devole la game. Take it take control cruelly devole la game. Which means we need to heed the word of God. We need to listen to the word of God. We need to apply the word of God in our life. Which says, be still and know that I am God. In this kind of hectic world, this is the right time for each one of us, staying at home, to remain still, listen to the voice of God. Try to communicate with the word of God. And today we need to know God personally. Each one of us, we need to know God personally. We need to build a relationship with Him today. And trust His sovereign will and grace. That whatever may come or go in our life, God is still with us and we are more than a conqueror through Him who loved us. Romans 8.37 we are more than a conqueror. Even this pandemic also, we are going to receive victory. We are going to conquer it. If we believe in Jesus. The day when my father died, I realized when one is prepared, not just in physical, but in spirit, Poi. The word fear doesn't come. And the word of God spoke to me. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 15. As one comes naked from a mother's womb, so shall one return naked. How much one dwells and labors, everything will be left behind the day one dies. And it was very true. Today, each and every one of us, we were so busy. We are busy. busy. Come with busy. Forgetting about the relationship with our family members, with God, personally. Whatever we have collected, we're going to left behind everything. We're not going to take anything with us. From a broken family. Dala brother Bishop Yada Gishe. Holy he dwelled and worked hard. And whatever he possessed. So obtaring in Ajayashido. He left everything. He left everything and went. And I realized that. We humans are running after something which is just a vanity. We're going to left everything behind. When running for our own greedy needs, neighbors can't, friends can't, kunuba logodo relationship biya hoyina. Hatred, jealousy, greediness, 
Ito sobra ami kan gi cover up ko ina. Takya la ka samay de. We never doubt that this pandemic is coming. We never knew that. But today, the reality has hit us. Reality Ramon gi hit ko ishe. Today everything has come to a whole. So prokeje. We're standing still. Everyone are compelled to stay at home, doing things which one has never done. The start of a new normal from home itself. Having family prayer. Family the kitiabe pratana luluisa. Family prayer time shuru hoyche. Family members. Kita abe ikchu ikchu na face ni dikha. Aji do ikhao lo boi gina bad khaya se. Kisa Maria se. Spending quality time. Trying to know each other. And along with that, people are trying to know more about God. Trying to reconcile the broken relationship that we had with God, because the Word of God says in First John chapter two verse seventeen. I repeat, First John two seventeen. It says that everything, whether it's the pandemic, everything in this world will pass away. Everything is going to pass away, but the love, peace. And the comfort of God will abide forever. Isor laga morom, isor laga shandi, isor laga comfort to hodai taki wuli ase. It is going to abide forever, and it is the right time to seek for that love, peace, and comfort in our life, which will not get from anything else, only through God. Only through God. Our old morom do, old love do, old peace do, old comfort do, old reconciliation do. Probably in the day, what we need to do is to that in all this midst of chaosness and fear, ami kan ki kurbli lagi. Let us continue to put our faith in God. I said in Mark chapter four, eleven. Verse twenty-two to twenty-four. Putting our faith in God, Mark eleven twenty-two to twenty-four. And the second is meditating the Word of God, Hebrews four verse twelve and thirteen. Meditating the Word of God, Hebrews four twelve and thirteen. And praying continuously. First Thessalonians chapter five. Verses sixteen to eighteen. First Thessalonians five sixteen to eighteen. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, this morning, ami kan kimoy encourage ko wala mong jado. This bad days, the samay biado, it is not going to stay forever. Alibi ito sa may dem de. If unfortunately, aji apni moy mori buli asyo gusto buli do. Whether you and I are prepared or not, whether you and I are prepared in spirit or not, this is the right time. Sa may palu ito asy. Let's redeem the good time that God has given us. Our army can prepare for us my own day. At my day prepare for you. When God call us, kita isor lang sa may do pungchig na army can kimati mo. Ito sa may di. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Ami tayara sa day ko bali para. Laka baba bara, tayo numura sa may dem. Dela funeral di kana grubli laga ikta tayo choose kundi na rakishay. And that song was, 
anywhere with Jesus. Udula kana taki she. And it is true. Kida i sor ki lo ilobo. When we are prepared, we are not fear of death. Iko wa pui ni kila bode ya mi kagi. When we are prepared, we are ready to go anywhere with Jesus. With this, I would like to end my sermon. May all of us stay safe, safe in the loving arms of our God and in His abounding grace. God bless us all. Amen.